All right, guys, let's do this problem that reads, the rod has a weight of six pounds per foot. If it is supported by a ball and socket joint at C and a journal bearing at D, determine the X, Y, and C components of reaction at these supports and the moment M that must be applied along the X axis of the rod to hold it in the position shown. So first, let's draw the free body diagram. So for the reactions, we know we have a Y reaction Let's call it here dy, uh, dx reaction. We have a weight. So the weight can be divided into two pieces. So we have um, the whole length of the rod without this uh, arm that is rotated at 60 degrees. Now we know it's uh, 6 pounds per foot and it's 2 feet long. So we have a weight right here of 12 pounds, let's call it 12 pounds, and then we have half a foot here, so it's if it's 6 pounds per foot, this is going to be 3 pounds for this rod right here. So it's going to be 3 pounds. Uh, the moment is already in the diagram, and then we need the reactions at C, which is, um, this is C in the C, C in the X, and back there is the C and the Y. And then we have the moments as well. So let's call that M in the Y, M in the X, and then uh, M in the C, which we're just going to call M. So yeah, this is the, the free body diagram. And now let's get to it. So let's just try and figure it out, all the variables that we have and that we're trying to find, right? So let's call them F1 and F2 for the weights that we just drew, F1 being the 3 pounds and F2 being the 12 pounds. You know, we figured that out by getting the 6 pounds per foot and the length of the rods. Now, then we have the reactions, CX, CY, and CC. And then we have uh, dx and dy. Perfect. And then we have the moments. Let's not forget the moments. So I'm just going to call the moment m for now because all we're trying to find is the x, y, and c components on the moment m. So that being said, let's uh, do the sum of the forces in the x and the y and the c. And in order to do that, we need to do write the F1 and F2 in Cartesian vector form. Usually when you're looking at, at weight, like this three pounds and 12 pounds, you're like, oh, that's easy. But it's not that easy in this particular problem because the X, Y, and C are shifted. Usually when we're talking about weight, you're talking about in the negative K direction. So it's going straight down, but here's going at an angle because of how the uh, X, uh, how the C axis is oriented. So that being said, we have to write F1 and F2 in Cartesian vector form. So F1 is equal to in Cartesian vector form minus F1, which we already know, times the sine of 45 times I plus 0 on the J minus F1 cosine of 45 in the K. So that means that F1 in Cartesian vector form is equal to minus 2.1213 in the I plus 0 minus 2.1213 in the K. Now F2 is equal to, in a similar fashion, equals to minus 8.4853 in the I, plus 0 on the J, minus 8.4853 in the K. Perfect. Now why is it 45 degrees? Because this angle right here is 45 degrees. And that's basically the angle that is forming. Now let's do some of the forces in the X. It's equal to zero. And it's equal to DX plus CX minus 2.1213 minus 8.4853. So we get that zero is equal to dx plus cx minus 
Let's call this equation one. Sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero and is equal to cy plus dy. Calling this equation two. And sum of the forces in the c is equal to zero and is equal to cc plus 2.1213 minus 8.4853 cc is equal to 10.6 so let's write here 10.6 so sum of the moments in dx is equal to 0 and is equal to 3 cosine of 45 times 0.25 times sine of 60 plus 2 dy and this dy comes out to be 0.22964 pounds now this is one of the gachas from this problem um, let me write this down right here 0.22964 pounds let me draw a new page to explain this for a second because if you're looking at it from the positive c-axis, and if you're looking at this rod right here, it would look something like this. This being the rod, let me draw it like a rod, so you see it a little better, right? And you know that this angle right here is 60 degrees given here. And this angle right here is 30 degrees, therefore. And the moment is, be, is being created about this length right here, not the length of the rod, which is 0.5. And that's why, that's why we have the 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is because it's at half and then sine of 60 because it's the length of that rod by trigonometry, not the, the whole uh, length of the rod. That's why uh, I see a lot of my students making a mistake in this problem. So let's do some of the moments in the y is equal to zero and is equal to minus 12. Same idea, cosine of 45 times one, minus three cosine of 45 times one, plus dx times two, plus three sine of 45, 0.25 cosine of 60. Same idea as before. You get that dx is equal to 5.1707 pounds. So that's 5.1707 pounds. And let's add one more page here. Sum of the moments in the C is equal to zero and is equal to M minus 0 0.25 sine of 60, three cosine of 45, which means that M is equal to 0 0.45928 foot pounds. So this is the final answer for the moment, the moment created at that point in time. Now, let me see what I'm missing. I think I'm missing CX, which you can find by plugging DX into equation one, and you get that CX is equal to 5.42928 pounds. And then CY, which you can find by plugging DY into equation two, and you get that CY is equal to minus 0.22964 pounds. And final answer for CY and DY. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Let me rewrite them here. 5.42928 and negative 0.22964. And this is all in pounds. And then the moment was 0.45928 foot pounds. So, Final answer for CX, CY, and CC, DX, DY, and the moment.
If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.